So let's talk about that. We're joined by live by the chief medical officer of Freighted and the Medical College of Wisconsin, Dr. Sid Singh. First of all, Dr. Singh, thank you very much for joining us. This vaccine requires one dose can be stored in a refrigerator for three months and it is easier to handle and deliver. So what kind of impact do you think this shot will have on the community? Thanks for having me. Uh, the Johnson Johnson vaccine has the potential to have a big impact. Uh, you know, I got a call over the weekend from my friends who said they had to drive six hours to get, get a vaccine. Why are things like this happening? So first of all, we don't have enough vaccine. So adding the Johnson and Johnson supply to the vaccine that we have will help. But more importantly, the vaccines that we have right now require ultra cold, cold freezer storage. So when we try to give them out, we have to give them out from locations that are close to hospitals and clinics. With a Johnson & Johnson vaccine, that's a single shot that requires simple refrigeration. We can go out into the community. We can give people the vaccine where they live and work and overcome the barrier of trying to find time off from work, overcome the barrier of trying to find transportation. Yeah, and not just barriers, hopefully some of the disparities we're seeing out there as well to try to get into communities where people need it. Uh, as you know, the numbers say that this, the J&J &J is about 70% effective. That's 20% less than Pfizer and Moderna, Moderna's shot. So what would you say to people? You know, people have their preference about coffee, about hamburgers, about cars, you know. So are people going to be brand shopping here? They want the one shot versus the two shot? You know, uh, let me start out by saying that uh, 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 the numbers are difficult to compare. Uh, all the studies have been done at different times, have been done in different areas of uh, the world. So the numbers are, dif are difficult to compare head to head. It's sort of an apples to oranges uh, calculation here. Uh, you know, let me uh, tell you that what's going to happen next is the advisory committee for immunization practices is going to take a close look at the studies and hopefully give us some guidance about how to choose vaccines if that is necessary. So we will follow that direction. But let me uh, tell your viewers a couple of practical thoughts here. So the first thing is, when we talk about the impact of COVID on our lives, we talk about people being hospitalized, people dying. And the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is 100% effective in preventing hospitalization, as 100% effective in preventing death. Same as Moderna, same as Pfizer. So from my uh, viewpoint, we have three very effective vaccines. You know, the second thing that I'll say is all of us want to get done with this pandemic and get on with our lives. And the way we are going to do that is speed. We want to get as many people vaccinated as quickly as possible. Speed is going to win the day. If we wait, the virus wins. So in such a situation, I'd say for our viewers, uh, the best vaccine for you is the best vac is the vaccine you can get when you're ready to get it. Well, that's good information, Dr. Singh, and we appreciate you sharing it with us today. Thank you. Let's take a